Morning everybody, it's a fragrant jock here, another honest opinion and you need to excuse me, I'm just in for the night shift so I'm extremely tired um, but I'll give Tony his due the other night, that live stream, he done extremely well he came in for a job and then he was going out to another job and he done extremely well um, I take my hat off to him hat off to him, he's a genuine guy anyway, today's honest opinion I don't know if I've done any reviews or any honest opinions on this company before but today's honest opinion is on a perfume parlour um, the fragrance I don't know if you can see it it's called Extraordinary 1822 it's very very small anyway this is their take on Tom Ford's effing fabulous I bought the 50mls, 50mls for this was £13 it's kind of standard um, bottle, plastic cap, nothing fancy the, uh, the presentation is, it's okay for what the money you pay, it's fine, the bottle's fine uh, it's mainly the juice, that's, you know, that's, it's the juice that counts Anyway, as I say, this was £13. Uh, I've tried Effin Fabulous and this is very close to it. It's very, very close. For £13, it's very close. The only thing I can say, and I've tried a couple of perfume parlours, I've tried their Taken Ombre Leather, and that's very close as well. But it doesn't last. Obviously, I mean, it can't be using the same oils as... Uh, the genuine ones or the ones that they're inspiring it really is and it, it really is close I'd say 90% possibly a wee bit lower but and the ombre leather is really nice as well but I would say max out of the two of them I get about until it's kind of skin scent I would say 4 hours but again, for 50mls and it's £13, you can take an atomizer and if you're going out, just refresh. So you end up, you'll if you're in a place for, or you're in a function for eight hours, you've got, you're smelling a, something that's a lot more expensive. It just doesn't last. It projects quite good. I would say an hour and a half, at least to two hours, but it doesn't last any more than four hours, so you'd need to reapply. Um, but... I don't know, as I say, I, I can't remember if I've done any honest opinions on this company before, but they're actually worth checking out. Some of their fragrances, I've seen some of the reviews, they get some good reviews, uh, some good opinions on some of their stuff, and some of their stuff doesn't. But I mean, every house gets that. But pound for pound for the, the money, you know, you've got a good alternative, because not everybody can go out and buy something like effing fabulous that costs like something like 250 pounds for 50 mls you know what i mean we've no all got the money to do that so it's a it's a great alternative and as i say just reapply if you've got an atomizer anyway the I, i'm going to just do a wee quick uh, profile on tom ford he's obviously an american fashion designer and filmmaker he's done a couple of films He's done Single Man and Nocturnal Animals, which I have seen, and it is actually quite a good movie. I think it was a, it was up for a few. I think it was up for an Academy Award as a Best Picture. I think it lost out to Green Card or something like that. I'm not sure. Um. Anyway, he's fifty eight year old. He was born in nineteen sixty one. He's a Texan. Um. He studied art history in New York City. Um, he used to frequent Studio 54, which everybody knew about in the, I think, even in the 70s or the late 80s. That was a place to go in New York. Um, you know, it was, a di it was a dance, disco thing to go to. Everybody went, Michael Jackson a lot. Um, anyway, that's when he realised, when he started frequenting there and meeting people, he realised he was gay. Um, know that that's got a lot to do with it, but it's just something in his his profile. Um, he's worked for people like Gucci, 
Perry Ellis, when he worked for Perry Ellis, he met that's where he met Mark Jacobs. He was already working there. Um, he's worked for YSL. He's he's worked for numerous companies, and then obviously branched out in his own. And obviously he's world famous now with all his stuff. But anyway, that's just a quick wee profile on him. Quite an interesting guy. As I say, that I've never seen Single Man, but I've seen Nocturnal Animals. And it really is a good movie. But anyway, we're not here to talk about movies. This is a worthwhile a worthwhile altern alternative to the F and Fabulous. I know there's loads of other ones out there, but for thirteen pounds you can't knock it for fifty MLs. And as I say, we atomizer, respray. Unless you're total fraghead, you'll not tell the difference. Uh, the only difference for me is the lasting power. Yeah, there is, obviously, uh, between the genuine article and this, that fragheads would be, tell it's probably, you know, the original one's a lot smoother, it's got better oils, but, as I say, you can't knock it for £13. Anyway, just a quick honest opinion. I hope everybody's safe and well, and I'll be going to my bed soon. Um, have a good day, everybody. Bye for now.